<coughs> OK, let's take a look around this uh, 1987 Range Rover Vogue 3.5 EFI manual, left-hand drive. Uh, this has just come into us in part exchange from a long-standing Dutch client who's had it for absolutely years, um, about 18 years, I think, from memory. I'll have to check the, uh, check the file. Finished in Arden Green um, with grey teddy bear interior. And so it is a man factory manual, um, factory left-hand drive, and it's absolutely lovely. Um, really, really nice original car. Uh, he's cherished it, as I say, for many, many years. He's a committed Land Rover enthusiast, and uh, it's it's been really well looked after. Totally standard spec, really. Um, it's got the correct metal grill for the year. Um, it's got the uh, the correct three-spoke alloys on it. Twin exit exhaust from a centre box. It's got tow pack with electrics on it. It's also got a matching set of um, matching set of road tyres on it. Oh, look like and she says they're M&S tyres, modern snow tyres. Um, Size-wise, they'll be 16 inch, I guess, but I can't see a size on them. Oh. 20580R16s. Yeah. On the alloy rims, um, just all, all correct. Never been off-roaded. Um, just a, a nice, really straight, original Range Rover Classic. Walking round it. Um, We've got a few chips on the bonnet up here, as you might expect, given the age, and a few chips on the front of the bonnet here and around the light unit. But uh, it has just started raining, unfortunately, so uh, all my efforts at cleaning it have probably come to naught now. Um, looking down the near side, she's as straight as a die down there. Very good by Range Rover standards, actually. Slight scratch on the front of the bonnet just there. Um, scuttle panel all looks very good. The screen looks very good. Difficult to see, I, I know, with the, with the water on it, but I can't recall seeing any big chips in it. A uh, little bit of paint loss just up here on the top of the, um, the scuttle vent, but that's about it. Uh, near side door, a little bit of reaction just there, but otherwise all very good. Inside she's absolutely lovely. Excuse the dirty mat, that's just some of my dirty boots. Driver's seat is uh, spot on, none of the usual wear that they get. Headlining looks like a replacement headlining, actually, because it's not sagging at all. And it's a two-piece one, so yeah, that's a replacement headlining in there, but not the usual sort of saggy Bedouin tent type thing. All the interior is absolutely super. Um, it's got the dull wood on the uh, on the door tops the way it would have had when it was new. Um, you might want to relacquer those, you might not. It's up to you. On the near side rear door, we've got a scratch there from so to so, tiny mark just there and a very faint scratch just there, but that's about it. Um, looking inside the back, the depots are in excellent shape, really really good down there, it all looks good down the base as well. Um, rear seats are spot on. On the rear wing, so a couple of sort of scuff type scratches, one there to there and one very thin scratch from there going down to there. That's about it. A uh, little bit of paint loss just there on the back of the off the uh, near side rear wing corner. Um, around the tailgate, tailgate has got a couple of marks and chips in it. A bit of touched in paint just there. Some scuffing and scratching just here and here, and a larger sort of scuff just there under the O. Bottom tailgate looks really good. In fact, if we open these up. Bottom tailgate edges look very good indeed, as it does down here, all exactly as you want it to be really. Around this side, again a couple of touched in areas just here on the offside rear corner and just there where it's obviously been scuffed against something, a bit of paint loss just there. But looking down the offside she looks again really really straight. Um, I know it's been garaged and it's a testament to that really. On the offside rear door we've got a slight chip just there and a little bit of reaction down the base of the door under the paint. Inside here again, depost in first class condition and all very good down there. <coughs> um, offside front door we've got a crack in the paint going along there and a couple of marks and chips here, there, here and there. Slightly touched in section on the back of the door. 
Um, scuff on the driver's side looks very good. Offside front wing, there is a bit of reaction and paint loss just where this Union Jack has been riveted on. It's a bit of paint loss around there. That's about it. So she's a beautifully straight example that we know has been totally looked after and cherished for the last uh, um, for a number of years. So I think I think 18 years, but I will check that in the history. Um, and it's just a supercar that drives beautifully and totally original and unmolested. Well, I'm sure it's had bits of, like the headlining's been replaced, but you know what I mean. It's it's all to original spec. Anyway, that's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907. Just notice a little bit more electrolytic reaction just there. A couple of bubbles of reaction on the scuttle. Um, 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co dot uk for any further information we take part exchanges we take visa and mastercard credit cards and debit cards with a two percent surcharge for credit cards and we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world obviously at a cost that's about it and